Hello everyone, I am Beos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video modded! But not modded in a sense that it has different aircraft parts, modded in a sense that we can now paint those different aircraft parts in any color or shininess <laughs> ever. So as some of you know that I've been talking about lately is, well not lately, but a little while ago, is that I lost a lot of the crap files because my dumbass deleted the entire fucking game that had everything in it. <clears throat> so one of the crap files that I want to bring back to life is the airliner. I've had a couple of people ask me about the whole airliner thing and how you build it and whatnot, so I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video. Now of course... I really couldn't go off of memory, so luckily I had a couple of pictures that I took and so I went ahead and used that as a reference. The wings of the airliner in KSP, of course, the, the ones that come, you know, as, as, as its own part, is not exactly uh, like the right size. Unfortunately, the wing part is a little small. And so what we try to do here is we try to extend that to make it look more like an actual airliner wing. Now, yes, yeah, some of the techniques in order to extend the airliner wing are a little draggy on the draggy side. It's more for looks than it is actual practicality or well no not you know uh what's the word i'm looking for efficiency but it's more for aesthetics than anything else now i will be going back and updating the craft file i think making it making you making the fuselage a little longer might actually be uh, a cool thing but we'll see it's 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 on the it's it's and you know it's it's one of those things where c compared to different designs and whatnot you have your small and large and all this other crap when it comes to airliner crafts. Now I did test it out with those two large jumbo engines on the bottom and interestingly a knife. Huh? Knife? Did I say a knife? You did. Whoops. A knife? Would you like a knife? Let's play a game. But interestingly enough, having the engines all the way to the bottom doesn't really mess with the craft that much when it comes to thrust to weight ratio. Even though the center of thrust is way below the center of mass, it all works out. Now when designing an airliner you have to remember that it is not a jet fighter. Why do I say this is because of the fact that when it comes to surface control of the ailerons you have to make each aileron do something different. You can't just have them all do all three pitch yaw and, and roll. So what I've done is I've actually made the tail of the craft do most of the work when it comes to turning and changing course of direction. The wings do have pitch authority and some roll authority, but not a whole lot. What this does is it sort of caps your turning ability. So when you make a turn, you don't turn very quickly. It's, it's a nice slow turn. When you roll, you don't roll very quickly. It's a very slow, lazy roll. And of course, in practicality and reality, this is, this is a good thing because you don't want all your passengers to throw up in their seats when you make a course correction. <laughs> exactly. What this also does, it, it also puts you in a spot where you have to plan your route. You can't just say, oh, let's just park here and try to make a turn automatically landing there. You're not going to be able to land there if you don't have a plan to land there in order to line yourself up correctly because this thing will turn very slowly. Not fucking slowly, but slowly. There's a difference. Now, when you build the wing, make sure you build the wing off of one part and then extend it outwards from there. What this allows you to do is it allows you to take the whole wing as if it was one part. You can take it and you can tilt it. You can give it a dihedral design all without worrying whether or not it's all connected because it is. So, so not only did I give the wings a tilt, tilt upwards, of course, but also a dihedral design. The cool thing about this is that what it has effectively done is it, it has made the aircraft so lofty in, in a sense that you don't have to pull the nose up in order to leave the runway. As soon as your speed starts building up, you literally start lifting off the runway. A very smooth ascension. But now that we have a mod called Textures Unlimited Recolor Depot, instead of having a stock looking very Kerbal KSP slash space shuttle slash airliner looking craft thanks to this mod we can go ahead and change it into a craft that actually looks like a real airliner or close to it 
and trying to keep up with the realism, I kept all the fuel in the wings and took out any fuel whatsoever from the fuselage. Now to test out the craft to see how far it can go, I figured, well, a good test would be able to fly from one airport to another. And no, I'm not talking about the island that's only a hopscotch away. I'm talking about the other airport, the one that's all the way in the back. Now I realize that there are other places that you can unlock that I haven't, so just know by the time we get to the other airport, whatever fuel's left over, there you go. Now, while I was flying, of course, I kind of took the long way around, and that's because of the fact that I just got bored staring at the freaking screen. You can go about one times warp with this thing, but too fast, and it starts to act a little weird. So I had to sit there throughout the entire mission, you know, take breaks and come back, see where I was, and then change course. But yes, I made sure that the entire craft was fully fueled and had all the Kerbals and all their stuff. And that's a lot of freaking Kerbals. So there you go everyone, thank you so much for watching, if you liked this video please leave a like and if you really 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 like this video consider subscribing. We also have a membership program, if you become a member you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name and please don't forget to click that bell notification because as I always say if you don't YouTube will not alert you to the videos that I come out with. It simply won't. You'll be sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing gets served to your general direction. And you're like, huh, well, this mess is not have uploaded anything within about a, you know, fucking couple months. All the while I've been uploading, but YouTube says, eh, well, you know what? Since you didn't hit that click the bell notification, you don't get to see shit. That's YouTube for you. Don't ask me why. Now stay tuned for more videos because I've actually made two other vehicles. And they are pretty cool, I think. And I'll be making videos of those uh, within a few weeks. So maybe sooner. Maybe sooner. I'm trying to go for the whole two videos a week 
ordeal. We'll see. This new mod has really sparked a creative nuclear explosion within me. So we'll see. Make sure to check the posts. I'm going to try to upload a new post with a new picture on it every single day. I'll go ahead and uh, either ask a question or show a picture of what, I, what I'm working on. But anyway, love you guys. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.